Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to Surviving Mars. I'm Afroluigi, and we're picking up almost where we left off. I let it run a tiny little bit. Basically, I turned off the recording, waited a few seconds, and started recording another episode. I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself like I did last last time, though. Okay, what is there into... There's five, I need five engineers. That's basically what it boils down to. And unfortunately, our population is not increasing quick enough. You know what? Turn you off. Turn you off. You guys go work at that machine shop. And honestly, I think it's time to build a university, regardless of whether it's a good idea or not. We'll wait for that last job to get filled, though. Oh, we have more things to, we could research. Last episode, I was talking about getting into space, and I should stick to that. So after the recon center, we're, we'd need a micro G lander. And now we wait. Lots of machine parts, at least. Oh, we can, uh, oh, we're not ready to uh, upgrade the farm, uh, switch to potato farm in there. What's this? We got a horse, got a dog, any cats? Nope, just the ho oh, there's a turtle, but no cats. Oh, wait, is that a cat? That's a platypus. Who on earth would bring a platypus to Mars? Are we in the future where it's all these billionaires that spend a whole bunch of money to come to Mars? Is that why we, they brought a platypus? They spent an extra billion to bring a platypus to Mars. Is that why they're such whiners, too? Ooh, problematic moxie. The expert report on the failing moxies is almost 300 pages long, finding multiple issues with their design. The core principles of extracting oxygen from Martian CO2 is sound. The current implement implementation of the technology leaves a lot to be desired. Our scientists believe that with all the information we have learned so far, we can design a better MOXIE. Sure, let's do it. Let's add that to the queue. One soul till the meteor shower. Can't wait for deep scanning. We're fifty percent of the way there. Are you done trans transitioning? Actually, no. You're still loading metals. That's fine. So that'll be. He'll be a little. He's got a lot more work to do. And a dust storm. Oh boy. We already had one shower land right on our colony, so hopefully this one does not turn out as bad. Definitely don't want la want la eh. definitely don't want one to land on the elevator though. That would be bad. Oh, you guys are off to work. Population dropped down to 20 out of when it was just 21, I think. Yeah, it was just 21. Uh. 
can't wait for deep scanning to be done because then we can dome bioscaping. Increased comfort will be so much more helpful. This R2 guy though is a problem. He's only middle aged. He's got a chronic condition. So if health is constantly dropping. Yeah, this guy's an issue. What about the next guy? This is Celeste Sirius. What's their issue? Drinking. Got a lot of alcoholics in this colony. And I don't have a bar. How are they becoming alcoholics if I don't have a bar? Does someone have a moon... Like, um, is there someone making moonshine in my colony? Is that, what, is that what's going on? I think that's what's going on. Someone's making moonshine in my colony. It's how else would you explain all these alcoholics? Twenty hours till the meteor shower. Where are all those drones taking that metal? No. Oh. They're taking it to a place I allow metal to be stored. Okay. Right, 65%. Ooh, meteor showers regularly drop anomalies. We might be able to um, get some research anomalies going. Um, hopefully that our rover doesn't head through those um, dust devils, because that's there's four of them there. Maybe five? No, four of them. Let's keep an eye on him. Yeah, his rovers don't really have... Self-preservation instincts. Where on earth are you? Okay, yeah, you are going all the way over there. Building not working. Oh, the concrete extractor is full again. Oh, boy. Seven hours till the meteor shower. Six... Uh, where is it going to come down? Five hours. And our rover is heading straight towards that dust devil. It might make it past, though. Oh, it didn't have to. The dust devil's faded. Perfect. Two hours till the meteor shower, though. Where is it going to come down? One hour. Ooh, rare metals. Oh, it landed all the way over there. We're safe. Uh, the, okay, the rover's all the way over there. I was going to say, the rover might not be safe, but we're safe. Now let's hope for some research anomalies. Either way, though, our, we're only a day and a half. Oh, actually, we're just under two souls away from deep scanning and then we will start deep scanning I was gonna say where's the research tower but it's right th our sensor tower is right one of our sensor towers right there we have nine of them if I recall actually if we just did this we mouse over it oh yeah no it says right there due to nine sensor towers three soul warning is there anything that we need to turn off? No, we should be good. I just need to keep an eye on, out for pipe leaks. It's the only issue. You know what? It might be worthwhile just to turn off the Games Workshop. We don't really need it, so let's do that. Turn off the Games Workshop, send them all over there. Let's start doing, um... What's the, what am I looking for? We're looking for the university. Let's build a university. We have enough... We have just enough electronics for it. We can't... And let's, let's bring in some more. Actually, we'll hold off on that. Actually, we should 
That's good enough. We'll bring 20 back from Earth. And they're going to go all the way down. I like that they're going all the way down to the concrete extractor to grab concrete. Although it would be more time efficient if they grabbed it from here, built it, then started emptying the concrete extractor. What are our mission profiles again? Uh, Mega Dome and Nine Breakthrough. So we're still a ways away from that. I wonder if that counts as a breakthrough, though. Well, the university's almost built. Just uh, 4.5 more electronics and 2 concrete. Oh, 0.5. There we go. Having a university will be helpful when it comes to, uh, for the medics as well. What takes more energy? That requires 50 en like energy. We want that. Oh, well, once again, it's always on as the thing, so. How is the, um, oh, whoa, that meteor sh storm definitely drifted. Disabled by a lightning strike. Oh, electrostatic, right, forgot to read it, electrostatic dust storms can disable buildings. So three souls, twenty hours. That's gonna. That's a long dust storm. Two hours till the meteor storm, and we didn't get one single anomaly out of it. Well, there was a disaster underground. What? This is a little pop up. Two tripods not working from a cave in. All right, go clean that up. There, that should do. Oh, I should um, pop that out. Oh, yeah, not one anomaly out of that uh, meteor shower. Oh, well, we only have three hours, so we can start deep scanning. Two, one. Come on, give me a zero. There, oh. Come on. Research there we go. So we're going to start expanding here. And we're just going to, like I said, we're going to little max it out. Do we have two buildings knocked out? Lightning. Lightning. No, that's dust storms. Yeah, two of them are knocked out. That's why it's at 460, not 480. Three thirteen, three fifteen, three forty six. Oh, that's 410. Beautiful. And we're going to go underground. 
grab all three of these guys and take them to the surface. We will get all the anomalies researched. Now we wait. Oh. Good thing I was here watching. Come on. Who's going to be the, uh, there we go. Oh. Who's going to repair the uh, pipe leak? There we go. Resources are low. Yeah, I know. Sector scanned. Ah, no resources. Three nine seven. Three nine one. Not even any deep deposits. Uh, that makes sense. Not right off the bat. Well, we'll find them eventually. Oh wow! Lightning bolt right on the fuel refinery. This is why I keep like to keep my fuel well away from everything else. The game of this is a little closer. I think it's only supposed to be one tile, uh, mechanic game mechanics wise, but still at the same time as I feel um, it's safer to keep them much farther away. We're not going to be finding any uh, anomalies right off the bat, are we? Oh. Let's just research right off the bat. Four twenty two, four oh seven. I don't think there are any here that high. Nope. Three eighty six. Nope, four oh one. Nope. Four thirty there. 89, that's 97, 86, 89, 66 again, I think that, oh there's an 86 there, there, all queued up. We'll go from easy to scan to low scan on this one ridge. We'll start off there and work our way outwards. Ooh, that's not helpful, but. It will uncover more text, hopefully something to increase comfort. Uh oh, did you get struck by lightning? Yeah, you got struck by lightning. Oh, only uh, tw one one hour, one day, one soul, twenty hours left. Oh, we're out of like, ooh, uh oh, we're out of electronics. That's that's not good. I'm not used to having maintenance on these guys. Sector scanned. Oh, two new anomalies at least. Oh, that's just the one. Just break. At least it's a breakthrough. Anomaly analyzed. Fifty-six. 
There's New text, to the compact and, and meteor defense. Ooh, meteor defense is nice. Just to, it's ex just really expensive, and we don't have electronics manufacturing going yet. You know what? That might actually be a good one to invest in. Yeah, we'll keep the fourth one open. I hope that's a good. Actually, I told, I almost forgot that we had um, a breakthrough randomizer on. So one way or another, that's going to be a good breakthrough, unless we get super unlucky with the um, uh, the roll. Sector scanned. Hopefully, our electronic supply holds out. Oh, we're at 22, finally. Available breakthroughs. Our rover has found a specimen like none we have ever seen before. Okay, we've read these. Hive mind, vocation oriented society, superconducting computer, or hull polarization. Oh. I jinxed us. This is not a good role. Like, that's handy. But long term, once we've researched everything, it becomes useless. I'm going to go with hive mind. Let's go with Hive Mind. Yeah, that's work bonus. That's handy, but it's only 10, and all their stats have been in the green. Maintenance less often handy, but long term. Our resource output is going to, uh, out, is going to overcome our maintenance. Yeah, Hive Mind. Yeah. Gives us a. Um, actually, it does mean we should research uh, Hive uh, Arcologies next. Provides comfortable living space for many colonists. And then we can research our arcology. Eighteen hours, seventeen hours. Once the dust storm has passed, we can land. And why is all of our guys on one rover? That was weird. That was really weird. 12 hours. We'll, we'll make it. We're suffering right now, but we'll make it. Sector scanned. Well, actually, it might be worthwhile just to open all that up. Just get everyone, cram everyone in through the university as quickly as possible. That way we can get the... Um, the sooner we do that, the sooner we'll be able to get out into orbit. Well, launch a guy to do that that expedition for that uh, breakthrough. Wait, what happened there? Oh, we lost another sensor tower. We lost one of the one that one. Oh, we'll wait for the dust storm to pass, and our building should all start working. Oh, of course you start working at the same time. So we're going to need both of you guys down here. Just to speed up the unloading and reloading of this courier. Two hours. 
that universe. I should not have built that universe. That university is gonna screw me over. All right, let's get our uh, drone hub back up and running. All right, our sensor towers are working again. Time to uh, look for where to scan next. Sector scanned. Still no anomalies. There. I think we still have some exotic minerals underground though. Actually, we can keep them down there. They're going to be more valuable underground eventually anyways. You know what? I'll keep you busy. Man, there's a lot of underground earthquakes over there. I was going to say, why is the machine perfect? Yeah, that's because everyone's going to university. Sector scanned. Really? Is there seriously no more anomalies over here? Man, this sucks. I was hoping some good tech breakthroughs. Like the, um... Hourglass, like the, um, just the ones that just give you straight up research. Those wouldn't be the best ones to earn right now. Especially to, it, since it let us complete bo bo uh, dome bioscaping. That's what I want right now. Yeah, well, take those. reason I want to do, like, I could be doing, like, this guy, this guy, just to be bumping up the sensor tower, which just to make it go a little bit quicker. But overall, it's not going to make things go any quicker. And it does spread out my rovers a sensor little bit more. Scan. This, at least, they kind of stay clustered together, less travel time. Watch as there's going to be more. <laughs> that is going to be a... I really want to be able to get access to that. That's going to be an amazing area to get access to, but I need a lot more resources for that. You know what? If we're going to be going for our ecology... Let us, let's skip that. Let's skip going into space, go for the ecology so we can take advantage of that new breakthrough. And that lets us focus more on the surface because we don't need exotic minerals on the surface. Although, let's get that out of the way. Low G excavation permits. Yeah, we'll keep, we'll throw, get that out of the way. One building not working. Oh yeah, the machine parts factory still because no one's graduated yet. Do we have any kids? We have one kid. Yeah, I need more um, people. Sector scan. Three hundred seven. Three. Don't need that. 
Ah, so let's get ourselves over. Let's use up some of this food. The limitless resource that is food. Actually, there's a tech. Yeah, that one will be much more useful. Martian board adaptability. That yeah, that will be much more useful for um, us than uh, anything to do with the underground. I want to explore the underground, but at the same time, I'm being restricted. Basically by resources, cause 21 pop people. That's all we got. Thankfully, oh, what are you doing? What are you going to do? No, 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 no. Go over here. Good thing I caught him. Where are you going? You're also going through there. And of course, no, nothing there. And this plateau sucks. I got a decent little starting area right here. Oh look, deep metals, not helpful. How is our birth thing going? F only four males want children compared to ten females. How many males do we have? We have one male there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of our twenty-one population, out of our population of twenty-one, we have eight males. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine males. Sorry. Wow. And of course, you went through the dust storm, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Not the dust storm, the dust devil. Sector scanned. Oh, look at that. Uh, more water. Whoa. It's a deep water deposits. That's so helpful right now. Especially since they're so far away. Like, we, like there's no point in us even trying to extract those. So I think, oh, did you lose another? Where are all these drones going? Did you transfer one over here? Or did we just lose a drone? Why do you have four drones? I lost a drone somewhere, I think. No, 23 drones. And, of course. Perfect. Let us, um, remedy that. You. Oh, we're after wait for that. Oh, InfoWars. Uh, Commander, an unknown rival is streaming propaganda videos at us. Videos aimed at inciting discord between several classes of colonists. Some are aimed at factory and extraction workers, claiming a culture of elitism that gives scientists, medics, and the likes privileged status within the colony. Others meant to agitate the same medics and scientists, with some clips claiming that many of the unpopular decisions the leadership of the colony has made are because of pressure put on by the factory workers. Until we get all our firewalls running again, we can block only a few of the channels. Some will have to remain online for a short duration, during which they can and will be watched by many colonists. We can't... Well, we don't have any medics or scientists. So, um, moral in our infirmary... Oh, oh wait, we want to... Uh, we'll lose, upset the assigned medics and scientists. We can't afford to agitate the workers and factories and extractors because we literally have no medics or scientists. Everyone is not special. No one is specialized. Ashley, do you lose anything? No. Let's um run you down there. Wow, 
Wow, everyone got stuck by the dust storm, didn't they? Dust devils, not storm, what am I thinking? Alright, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Not a lot happened, besides from us actually starting to deep scan a bunch. Uh-oh. Are you going to sneak by? Are you going to sneak by? Ah, oh, crap. And of course, right after. Right after. Okay, let's resolve that. National Mars mission willing to trade concrete for metals we don't need either. So, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. Actually, once we get these guys up and running again. There. So, yeah, that's it for this episode. I will see you guys in the next one where we will continue deep scanning the world. Well, map. And hopefully find some more uh, breakthroughs. Bye.